idea, but... Oh, may, maybe I know why, no, because it's... I have a French... Uh, that's, maybe that's why they... That's always a French fault, you know. <laughs> okay. Always a French fault. <laughs> That looks solid and comfortable yeah. um, today, but also tricky with the conditions. You didn't look yeah. too satisfied with the, the surface. Or yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, it's different. I mean, it's, it's, it's di surface-wise, it's different from the center court. It's slower, but it, it, it's, it's more slippery. And it, uh, Basias really came out uh, firing from both corners, you know, forehand and backhand, playing it very solid very 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 fast you know attacking every 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 possible ball and uh so you know obviously i i didn't play in uh, a match in petrangeli for many many years and um i was looking forward to that and i'm very happy i played there uh, i i thought the the atmosphere was uh, unique phenomenal it's one of the most beautiful tennis courts in the world it used to be the the center court here in Rome, I think, was the last year, was 2009, and uh, and I have a great memories there. And I think it's it's so nice to play in front of the people that also don't have a possibility to buy a ticket for a center court. So they, you know, it's it's just it's very intimate, you know, and it's uh, it feels great. And I, I, I over the years, <clears throat> I always enjoyed watching the the matches of this tournament on that court. You always have some uh, drama there, you know, with Italian players and. A lot of top players have uh, have lost their matches there, so I, I hope that I will not be one of them. Um, but uh, yeah, it was the, the first set was uh, was quite close. Uh, the second was already already better because I kind of got used to his his pace and the conditions. Can you talk about the joy of being on court at the moment versus the relative pressure of needing to show yourself that you're back where you want to be? You know, I mean, I've talked a lot about it. It's, it's the process that, that I have to accept and uh, uh, embrace and, and try to get the best out of myself in uh, every match that I play on and not just matches but practice sessions as well, which, which count a lot, which make me feel more comfortable playing a match, you know. Obviously, ma playing matches and playing practice sets is completely different because you have the nerves, you have the importance of, uh, of winning a point or a game, you know, and uh, so, so you have to deal with all these things. So there is no better practice than actually playing a match, which I haven't had too many of in the last uh, year or so. And uh, so I, if I can get as many matches as possible here, I would be very happy. So I'm taking it day by day. Uh, I know that, uh, look, you know, if there is anyone that likes to, to, to see me playing on the, <laughs> on the level that, that, that I played on when, when I was number one in the world, it's me. You know, that I'm working on that. I know that I'm very, I appreciate a lot of support from people. I put in a lot of work, and, but I, I guess, you know, it takes time. It takes time to, to and takes matches for me to get, get, get into the flow. So. Hopefully, I can already, you know, uh, be better with a, for, with a small percentage each match that I play on here. It's a great energy, great support I always have from Italians. I, you know, I always have, have this very special connection with people here. And I think that brings me, brings me uh, good feelings. In the top half, were you and Rafa and you two are the only seeds left in that top half in the third in, in the third round? Are you s is that surprising to you, or do you think that the field's getting a bit close together, or is Clay playing a bit of an equalizer that maybe m almost everyone can beat anyone, or how do you see that? Yeah, I mean, look, you know, uh, especially here in Rome, where um, the, each court I, I feel is is different, you know. Uh, I haven't played a match in Next Gen Stadium, but they say it's also different from Pentrangel in center court. So it's it's not easy. I mean, for a seeded player, you know, you, you you don't play a match and you play someone maybe who came up from qualies or played a, a match and already, you know, it's, it's, it's quite different because he feels more comfortable and he has nothing to lose because you're a high seed, so he wants to beat you. And that's, you know, usually the case where... It gets tricky, you know. So uh, I mean, Dimitrov is a high seed that went out today, but he went to, against Nishikori, who is, you know, we all know that he deserves to be one of the high seeds as well. But you know, obviously the rankings are, are different for him now. And uh, well, I mean, Clay is, uh, you know, the slowest surface we have in sport, and uh, I think Isner 
loss to to Albert uh, Ramos Vinoles, whom I'm I'm playing against tomorrow, which is uh, you know. I mean, Isner is in a great shape, but uh, Ramos is always a tricky guy to play against on, on, on slow clay. So, I mean, all these different matches that you had and seeds that lost today was uh, also not a huge surprise. I mean, it can happen. Um, that's, that's tennis. Novak, you've, you've obviously been looking for the right coaching setup over the past year. What's the uh, most challenging part of being an employer and, and everyone on your team being on your payroll, having to make you know, these decisions, it's not something that um, athletes and team sports have to think about, for example. Well, I think there are advantages to that. I mean, financially looking, you know, it, it, I mean, you have players that are supported uh, by the federations, uh, especially the players coming from uh, countries where the federation, tennis federations are very strong um, and big, especially the ones that host the Grand Slams. And uh, usually that those federations are making contracts with their players from their young, uh, um, you know, early stages of their career, and and they're supporting their uh, you know team of experts and and so forth, and so they don't need to worry about it. But for uh, for other guys, it's it's different. You know, I, I fit into this second group, and uh, but. You know, you, 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 you fight your way through. Um, it wasn't easy for me. I mean, uh, of course, and not for me. I mean, for my parents, you know, at that time to, to find uh, a way to support my tennis career. And tennis is a very expensive sport. Uh, it's one of the most demanding financially sports for parents. That's why, you know, you know it's, it's, not, it's much easier for a parent to have their child play a team sport like football or basketball than, than tennis, you know. So, uh, but, you know, in a country like this, in Italy, you have a very strong club tennis, which is important, I think, and that supports, um, um, that supports uh, tennis players from a very young age. Um, and, you know, you try to get as much support as you can, uh, but, uh, but if not, then you, I guess, have to you know, clinch your teeth and want it even more. Uh, that's, that's, that's what happened in my case, and it doesn't always happen. I mean, actually, in most of the cases, it doesn't happen because most of the players don't actually have the, the ability to, to get to, to a desired level, and many of the talented players have left tennis because of, you know, financial uh, demand. And, and it's, as, you know, it's, it's, every sport has, has this kind of... Uh, Challenges, but I think tennis more than than a lot of sports because it's just individual sport, and if you don't, if you're not supported by some kind of uh, organization or system or a sponsor from early stages of your life, then it's it's quite hard. Last one. Novak, if I may follow up on the jacket thing we were talking about, <laughs> because France we're going to like seeing you with our, our colors, but how did you end with the French flag and French word on your? Outfits. I just I like it. I mean I don't know if Lacoste people will like uh, me wearing this because it was not the designated on court uh, jacket for me. Uh, but I, I, I you know I like it. I don't know. I just uh, I, uh, Lacoste is uh, is a, is a great mark, a great brand, and this one just fits with uh, <laughs> with my outfit, the the match outfit, and also the colors of, matches the colors of my my country as well. So it's. Do you like it? And you as French, I mean, I I mean <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Merci. do it, just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow, so just do it.